So today I'm going to talk about Poisson regression models for count data. I will first of all give a brief um, review of regression analysis. Um, I will then introduce um, Poisson regression um, and looking at a, a simple model without a covariate first of all, the so-called equiprobable model. Um, I will be then assessing this particular model with the Pearson um, chi-square test and the log likelihood ratio test statistics and uh, also I will be looking at some residual analysis as well. And then I will be introducing the Poisson regression model with a covariate, so basically a Poisson time trend model. You may have come across um, different types of regression models already, for example a linear regression model for a continuous dependent variable, uh, you may have used logistic regression models already for a binary um, outcome variable. Um, there are obviously um, other types of regression as well that are also part of the generalized linear model uh, models. Um, so basically, for example, the multinomial logit model for a multi-category um, um, uh, yeah, unordered variable um, and also the sort of so-called cumulative logit uh, for multi-category ordered variables or ordinal regression. Here we are going to basically go a step further, we are going to look at the outcome variable that is a count variable using Poisson regression. And sometimes in the literature you may also find uh, the expression of a log linear model. Um, data uh, for this particular session are assumed to be first of all a count variable, why? Um, so for example the number of accidents or the number of suicides um, in a particular uh, geographical area or time period. Um, then we've got a categorical variable X, for example, with, let's say, capital C possible categories such as days of the week or uh, months. Um, so basically Y here in this particular case has capital C possible outcomes, so Y1, Y2 uh, and so on until YC. Obviously, generally in Poisson regression modeling you may think of a number of categorical variables that you have or a number of even uh, continuous variables as explanatory variables in your models. Here we are going to start with something uh, relatively simple. Just to sort of introduce the, the basic principles of Poisson regression. Um, so basically it's a form of regression analysis here to model account data um, and a particular case if all the explanatory variables are categorical then we basically model a contingency, contingency table, so basically cell counts. Uh, and the model basically models um, expected frequencies. The model uh, specifies also how the count variable um, obviously relates to any of these explanatory variables, um, or for example of the level of the categorical variables. Um, Poisson models um, is a form of generalized linear modeling. Um, it uses the logarithm, the log, um, as the canonical uh, link function in this particular case. Um, we basically assume that the outcome variable y, the, the, the dependent variable, the variable that we are particularly interested in, um, has a Poisson distribution um, and the logarithm uh, basically is its expected value that can be modeled by a linear combination of uh, any of these unknown parameters. So basically of these unknown um, beta coefficients, the coefficients, the reg regression coefficients in your model. Sometimes it's um, referred to as a log linear model, in particular when used to model contingency tables. Uh, let's have a look at a brief example. For example, the number of suicides uh, by weekday uh, in, in France. So we've got um, a number of weekdays in the first column and in the second column just simply the, the frequencies, the occurrences, the events, and then uh, let's say the percentages, how it is distributed um, according to days of the week. Um, so that is the type of uh, model or type of data that we would like to model. Um, let's first look at a very simple case, the equiprobable model. Uh, the equiprobable model means that um, basically all outcomes are equally probable, so they are equally likely. That is, for our particular example, we assume a uniform distribution for the outcome across days of week, so y does not vary with the days of week x, basically. So um, the equiprobable model is basically given by this formula here. So the probability of a particular event across these categories, um, basically of the days of the week, 
is um, equally distributed. So it's 1 over C, so 1 over the capital uh, C. So we basically expect an equal distribution across days of week. Uh, and given this particular data, we can test then the assumption of our interest, um, basically the assumption of the equiprobable model, so H0, that this assumption holds. So looking at our example again, let's say suicides by weekday uh, in France, um, basically H0, the, the um, assumption that we would like to test, um, means that each day is equally likely for uh, the uh, suicides to happen. That means the um, expected proportion of suicides is about 100 over 7, so 7 days of the week. So basically just over 14% per day. And if you're looking at the third column of the table, we see the actual observed distribution. And obviously that um, depends a little bit uh, on each day of the week possibly um, and diverges a little bit from 14% per day but uh, maybe the divergence is not very much and we are um, satisfied um, with actually our assumption. And to do that properly, you obviously would need to do a, a formal test and I'll come to that uh, in, in the next session and I will explain the actual formal test uh, in, in further detail. Uh, looking at another um, example, example two, looking at traffic accidents per weekday. Again, we want to make the H0 assumption of um, the equiprobable model. That means that each day is equally likely for uh, an accident. That means the expected proportion is again uh, the number of accidents is 100 over 7, so basically just over 14% per day we would expect. And there, maybe in this particular example, we, we see a, a greater distribution. In particular, for Sundays, there seems to be um, a greater percentage than, than just 14%. So we may want to continue testing if the observed distribution that we have um, is maybe different from the expected distribution or, or if it's still um, okay to assume that they are actually um, equal. Looking at hypothesis testing, we may say in this particular case H note that each day is equally likely for an accident to happen, but we can also think of other alternative null hypotheses. For example, that each working day is equally likely for an accident or that maybe Saturday, Sunday, the weekends um, are equally likely for an accident. You could also think, of course, of um, other extra um, or yeah, additional variables. For example, the distance driven each day of the week and you may want to take into account those types of um, explanatory variables as well. Um, just thinking about this a bit further, basically we can now express the equ equiprobable model more formally as an actual Poisson regression model without a covariate um, and that models the expected frequency. So basically we assume a Poisson distribution with parameter mu for a random component. That means uh, the response variable y uh, follows a Poisson distribution. That means basically that, that y follows um, this um, notation here or this formula here using uh, the exponential um, function and mu the parameter of interest and also the y, uh, the outcome variable of, of interest where y is just simply the count variable 1, 2 and 3 and so on. So basically y is a random variable that takes on only positive uh, integer values uh, and also this Poisson distribution has only one single parameter mu which actually is the mean and the variance of this distribution. And we assume that our outcome follows uh, this Poisson distribution, follows the uh, integer count distribution. Looking at basically the, the simple models to start with, we aim to model the expected value of y, and it can be shown that this is the parameter mu, um, hence we aim to model uh, the parameter mu effectively in our Poisson model. Um, so defining the equiprobable model that I had on an earlier slide, uh, sort of uh, the um, intuitive uh, uh, notation, I'm now formalizing this, um, writing it down as the expected value of y uh, mu, basically the parameter mu, um, and that is then 1 over c, because we are making the assumption of the uh, equal um, uh, uh, probability um, across weekdays. Or using the link function, the log of mu would then be um, a coefficient alpha. So uh, that is basically the coefficient that I would like to estimate as part of my model. And alpha is then basically the log of 1 over c in this particular case. 